Hey everybody, don't know where you've been this week, but Igor Sesterkin has said he doesn't want to talk contract during the season. And reports are saying he's looking for a $12 million payday. So if not the New York Rangers, who else could possibly sign Igor Sesterkin? Let's delve into that. I am the very coveted Mark Williams from Big Apple Hockey. This is the five potential suitors for Igor Sesterkin. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of entertaining and informative news on the NHL, the New York Rangers, and the New York Islanders, and an entertaining podcast. So check us out in our library of videos. Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy as father and son. Recently, if a player signed a $10 million plus deal, it was the Toronto Maple Leafs shelling out the cash. The Leafs' former GM, Kyle Dubas, re-signed Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner and lured John Tavares away from the New York Islanders to the biggest signings in franchise history. Still, the current GM, Bradtree Living, re-signed William Nylander and Matthews again to huge deals. So if a player asks for big money, Toronto has opened up their wallet. With John Tavares coming off the books, Sisterkin could ride into town as Curtis Joseph did in 1998. However, Mitch Marner will also be an unrestricted free agent in 2025 and do a raise with Toronto where the Leafs could save the money and let him walk. The pressure cooker of the hockey world would demand Sesterkin live up to that outstanding 21-22 season where he won the Vezda Trophy and was godlike. But they'd want that on a nightly basis. And no goalie could live up to that, right? Hello. Oh, great. Mormons. The Utah Hockey Club doesn't even have a name yet, but they made a splash at the 2024 NHL Draft when they traded for Mikhail Sergachev from the Tampa Bay Lightning. As Arizona was building towards the future, the now Utah Hockey Club could want their future to be their presence. Welcome to the world of tomorrow! While Carl Vimelka has shown flashes and Connor Ingram was tied for the league league in shutouts, Utah could just simply move on to the premier goaltender in the NHL. Utah has plenty of assets to trade the Rangers if they choose to chase the Russian goaltender now or with their $9.14 million of cap space and Alex Kerfoot coming off the books, Utah could easily fit him in under the cap next offseason. An added bonus, Utah's top prospects are Russians, Daniil Butt and Dmitry Simashev. Join me. Imagine what we could accomplish together. What we could create. The Iser plan hasn't exactly gone according to plan. Though we left Tampa before putting the finishing touches to make the Lightning into a dynasty, many credit Iserman with the team's foundation. In Detroit, Iserman drafted Lucas Raymond and Moritz Sider, but he hasn't figured out one position, the net. He tried Alex Nedeljkovic and Vili Husso with poor results. Husso's $4.75 million contract is coming off the books and shedding Jeff Petrie's and Olimata's contracts, Iserman would just need a couple more million to reach Shesterkin's asking price. Pivot! <laughs> After being the model of consistency since their march to the Western Conference Finals in 2009, the Hawks won three Stanley Cups and lost another Conference Finals in 2014. So when they bottomed out and drafted a generational talent like Connor Bedard, it was time to go from rebuild to build. One place to do that is in the net. Peter Morazic is undoubtedly not the goalie to build around. Coming off the books after 2025, Taylor Hall, Andreas Athanasiu, Alec Martinez, and they could try to shed Morazic's $4.25 million contract to make room for Sesterkin and the extension that Connor Bedard will be due shortly after. Let's face it, if there's a shiny new toy on the market, the Las Vegas Golden Knights are in on it. I want him. No one had Jack Eichel going to the Golden Knights in 2021, or Noah Hannafin and Thomas Hurdle at the 2024 trade deadline, but Vegas got them. Golden Knights always seem cash-strapped, but 
This team finds more outs than Phil Hellmuth at a poker table. The funniest part is that it's not that far-fetched. Aiden Hill, Braden McNabb, and Shea Theodore's contracts will expire after the season, which will give Vegas cap space. And as usual, Vegas remains like a lion in the weeds whenever a big-time player becomes available. It would appeal to Vegas, given that their goaltending hasn't been as solid in the post-Marc-Andre Fleury era, even with a Stanley Cup win. This would once again give the Las Vegas Golden Knights an elite-level goaltender. And that's my list, everybody. While there's other teams that could be suitors for Igor Sesterkin, they kind of have a lot more steps to go through in order to get there, so I just went with these five. But check out Big Apple Hockey for more news, information, and entertaining hockey talk. We're going to be doing our NHL preview this week, so make sure you tune in and check us out. And we can't wait to share our thoughts on the season with you. Thank you very much, everybody, and click on this video right here. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.